Hey there. Today I thought I'd have a go at putting one of these little AM radio receivers together. Um, let's get rid of that. This is a little receiver based around the TA7642, which is represented here. Uh, the TA7642 is a one chip AM radio circuit, basically. And it's got just all the gummings built into it. Now, although I could get like a noise output, I couldn't tune into anything. The circuit that I've copied, this one here, which is one that I just saw on the internet, it uses a, a 2N3904 transistor here, and I've put a 2N2222 in because I didn't have a 3904. But I did compare the data sheets, and the characteristics are pretty much the same. So I figured that would probably be okay. This here, although I can see it's supposed to be electrolytic or polarized, I've put in a polarized ceramic, a 33 mic. Um, and I didn't have any 220 ohm resistors, so I've put, I think the 140 is two of them in parallel, and then series one to the end of the two in parallel, which gives me a little over 210 ohms of resistance to make up this little circuit here, this uh, resistant capacitance circuit. Uh, but everything else I've done as per, but I've used ceramics. Let me show you the, my little it, you know, if I place this um, here, well, as you can see there, look, here's this little, get that out of the way, that's to go on the capacitor. Um, so there's the 220 ohm, there's the 33 mic, this is the transistor, off it goes. We've got a connection here which would go off, you go to the speaker, I ended up connected to a little amplifier. Um, I connected it to this CLM386 um, and yeah you know I got noise but I, I didn't I wasn't able to tune into anything and so everything else on here is is the same like I say I've just used um, these types of capacitors these little ceramics and here is where the I was connecting up to this as my capacitor, my variable capacitor, and this center tapped. Although I didn't use the center, I just went to the two outsides. Um, just a ferrite core that I've wrapped with some 30 gauge wire, magnet wire. There's probably about, uh, about 20 meters on there. It's probably too much, I don't know. They, uh, from what I was reading, it didn't seem to be too important, but uh, how much you had on there and the ones that I've looked at on YouTube and other video uh, places, they, uh, they seem to have a varied amount of bindings on the um, for their aerial. So, yeah, not such a great day for you know, getting things done. But never mind. Well, this is all the the negative side. Just putting a negative onto everything. Uh, well, like I said, you know, it doesn't do anything wrong. It doesn't. It's 
start drawing too much current or it, you know, it, 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 it plays almost correctly but it doesn't seem to be able to tune anything so I decided just to put that out of the way and say okay and I'm going to give this little circuit a go and this is a uh, oh, I don't know what's going on here and there we go this is a uh, Cool dude, Clem. He's got the same. There's the uh, TA74, uh, 7642. Just here. This circuit, I've actually seen him using, so I know it works. And it's actually, he's changed a few bits and pieces around in it um, in order to put it out to like a little amp, an M386 amp. So this might be ideal for me. Uh, this transistor here is using a 54, a BC 54, uh, 7. And fortunately, as you can see, that's a, a recycled. Oh, hey, I got one of those. I'm chuffed about that. I've got quite a few transistors. I haven't, didn't have one of those, but uh, I've got one. But it seems like there's quite a few of them that would actually uh, could do for that anyway. Um, so I'm going to give this one a go next. Now he's, I've got one of these little, one of these little tuning capacitors. Uh, all the ones I see have got three, three legs on them, and this one seems to have five. And one that's like connected here to this. Uh, not quite sure what that's all about. Well. But so I'm probably going to put this in place here, rather than use uh, rather than use this. Even though I'd love to use this because my daughter got me this, um, and I will find something to use it for. Maybe I can get the circuit working with this one and then swap it out for the other one. But I'll have to see. I've got a, a chip, some 700 or 7,000, TDA 7,000, with an FM radio, if I can complete, uh, and it, I ended up getting four of these TA 7642s, um, quite cheaply as well, 70 pence each. Um, because the first two that I ordered the payment went wrong and I thought I wasn't going to get them sent to me so I ordered two from somewhere else and well they all got sent to me so but never mind as I understand they're quite hard to get hold of so it'd probably be quite good keeping hold of them so yeah I've not built this yet I'm going to build this one on a breadboard I'm not just going to get up in the morning and think oh I'll just sort of this up together Oh, that's not such a bright idea, especially if you don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, I'm pretty confident this one will work because I've seen um, um, old Clem do this and it seems to work quite good, uh, quite well. So tomorrow I'm going to do that. Tonight I'm going to sit back and go and find myself a few science videos and watch those and I've have a couple of beers. Ah. So yes. So this is going to be part two of the TDA uh, seventy six forty two. Thanks for watching. Bye.